don't want to miss this one. Christopher against the King, Tennessee State Fairgrounds, tonight! Well, you know, I was really looking forward to coming to Nashville, Tennessee last week and seeing all my old friends and uh, fans there at the Fairgrounds Sports Arena. I was looking forward to it being a great night. I was going to come there and settle a score that had built up for a long time between me and Terry Taylor. And then thinking back, it wasn't that bad a night, actually. It was uh, good to see a great crowd there at the Sports Arena in Nashville, see all my old fans and friends. Burt Prentice was all happy and running around everywhere. I had <laughs> Mike Rapata as my partner, and I was going to get my hands on Terry Taylor, finally. Because you remember, last time I faced Terry Taylor in Nashville, it was Terry Taylor, myself, and Colorado Kid in the ring. We were going for the North American Heavyweight Championship. And I felt I had a Colorado Kid beat, and all of a sudden, somehow, Terry Taylor screws me out of that match. So I had a big score to settle with Terry Taylor. And as I said, things was going great. It was good to see Bill Dundee, even though I was wrestling against him. And Guys like Tommy Rich and all the new guys from the WCW and WWF were there. It was really a good night. And the match was even going well. I got my hands on Terry Taylor. I driven off of that second rope, put my fist right in his mouth, and I was all ready to get the 1-2-3 victory. And the next thing I know, I get kicked in the head. I get kicked in the head by my own partner. That's right, Mike Rapata. The guy that I trusted, the guy that I went in that ring with, the tag team with, Mike Rapata kicks me in the head. Not only that, he beats, reaches down, picks me up, and gives me a pile driver. He gives the king a pile driver, and then he leaves with my cape and my crown. So now I have a big score to settle with Mike Rapata. Yeah, Mike Rapata. You see this thing I'm wearing, this little neck collar? I've been wearing this all week, and it hadn't been pleasurable. I've been looking in the mirror and seeing this. I've been unable to move my head and neck, all because of you, Mike Rapata. And it's come down to today. So what I figure I have to do is, I have to go out with this neck brace on, get in my car, make that long drive from my home in Memphis up to Nashville tonight, and take care of a little more business. I have to make you pay, Mike Rapata, oh, for putting me in this. This is not fun at all. And I promise you, you are going to pay. But you know what happened? I got a little telephone call. I got a telephone call from somebody that said, Now, King, you know you're not 100%. You've been wearing that neck collar all week long and your neck's stiff. So why don't you let me make that drive to Nashville? Why don't you let me take care of that unfinished business with Mike Rapata tonight at the fairgrounds? And the more I thought about it, I said, You know, it's not a bad idea. Matter of fact, it's a real good idea. So Mike Rapata, get ready, because you got an opponent tonight in Nashville at the fairgrounds, and I want to bring him in, and I want to introduce him to him. Oh, you already know him. Check out. Two cents. He's Brian Christmas. <laughs> Are you ready for this, Mike Rapata? <laughs> Mike Rapata, right. I've, I've, I've heard you say that name six or seven times, and I'm already sick of hearing it. That right there is a stupid name. That's his right name. And that name is Brian Christopher. So Mike Rapata, kid, I always called him kid. Because that's what I always thought of, man. A kid. He's always been a punk that's looked up to people like Jerry Lawler and Brian Christopher. He's always wanted to be just like me and just like this man right here. Now, I, I heard that he went off and he won the NWA world title. Right. Yeah. Well, you know what? You lost that, didn't you? All right. But now... Now that he's changed his name, he wants to do whatever he can to be a big shot. So what you go is, you go out and you steal this man's crown. And my cake. Big mistake. No. Because now, <laughs> now, tonight, tonight in Nashville, I'm getting fired up just thinking about it. Calm down. Calm you just down. sit right here. Because when I get there, Mike Rapata, oh, I'm getting fired up. Whatever your name is, Colorado Kid, I'm going to call you Paul. And I'm going to beat some sense into you, Pop. Wait a minute. You know what I hear he's calling himself now that he's got my cape and crown? Oh, I heard. He's trying to call himself the King of Nashville. <laughs> well, whatever you want to call yourself, it doesn't matter to me. Like I said, Punk, I'm going to beat you, and I'm going to beat you good. I can't wait to see all those people there in Nashville come down there to watch you take a good butt kicking. 
tell you what I want you to do. I want you to kick Mike Ramada's butt. Yeah. I want you to kick the Colorado kid's butt. I'll do it. I want you to kick the phony king of Nashville's butt.